Hello, and welcome to Gunpla Reviews, where it is myself versus my shelf. Over 200 model kits and a queue of reviews to do. Today's challenge RB, the RGM 79 HC, I don't know where to get this HC from, the Gym Guard Custom from Gundam The Origin Mobile Suit Discovery, not variations. Kindly given to us from the year of our Bandai Lords in 2018. Last year! So this was one of like, I think they came out with four different uh, variant GMs at, at a time. There was the Interceptor and some other ones I didn't care. I, this, this is the one that I wanted because Big Shield Boys. Over here on the front cover we can see a gym sniper hanging out in the back, putting in work. There's the dual language blurb here. Specs, once again, dual language. On the back side here, we have the sticker guide. It came with them clear stickers, not the paper foil stickers. Well, it came with both, but you know what I mean. And here's some action poses, talking about the gimmicks, various things. Where do you open? How do you open? What do you do? And as is tradition, we have the warnings and the runners. We use everything here. Uh, next page here is how to do the move. Followed by torso assembly. A very interesting step right here. Over here, I'm going to pull this taut. We get head and waist assembly, which is where I like to start the waist. Arms as per, uh, laid out side by side. This should be the, the, the standard, the move. Over here you get feet, left the leg. So that on the back side here, we get the right leg. Followed by full body assembly. And then shield assembly, the beam daggers, and our beam spray gun. Manual aside, we're going to try to remember to talk about the stickers first. I have like a written down chart of how I should follow this, and then sometimes I just don't. So as you can see, I've chosen to go all in on the clear sticker sheet. You know, the, the detail, the marking stickers, is that what they're called? They're not water slides. They're not dry transfers. I guess there's the stickers, and then there's the decals. Please, someone explain unto me the difference between. I'm getting an up-close look. Okay, I had, to, I had to make sure of something. So, as for stickers, we have an actual camera sticker here at the front and the back of the head these chest vents here these yellow pieces those are stickers which I like to kind of crease in there it helps them follow the shape of what was going on has some kneecap plates here these very annoying full cover vent stickers so it's one sticker both yellow no it's two stickers the yellow sticker is separate from this gray sticker that goes around the vent. Kind of annoying. The rest I went in with all the decals down here at the feet, the leg armor, everything along the side, even on the arm guards, over here at the shoulders. No, I did not choose the number 69. It was assigned to it already. Ha ha ha. That's the sex number. And here's a few more on the back. All the warning stuff. So, GM, guard custom, show me your moves. We have articulation in the headpiece right here, which is a visor that is more at home on the gym sniper and a few others. I like this visor. It moves. It does work. But you get a full rotation of the board. Uh, get a little back and forth action there. Not really any side to side though. At the arm, 
full unobstructed twist followed by oh no that's no good full unobstructed twist that is caused by the twisting I don't like that I don't like that at all you see I do the twist and it separates rotating up you get almost like as much of an 180 degree bend as you're gonna get or I guess is that 180 whatever it bends a lot at the shoulder you get this high because it is ball and socket inside of another forward facing socket so you get forward motion oh sorry you weren't even on screen you get this forward motion you can see your boy coming out just like that and so we t-pose praise the sun you get with just a little kind of click on the side skirts a full rotation of the board you get a little back bend there you can kind of see inside of him and then you get crunch much ab crunch because you can see in there it's got a very unique assembly this should be the new standard but who am I I don't design gun claw the front skirts don't move too much they are separate but you can see that they've got these little like extra plates in front of them that kind of block and there's not really a way to get them out of the way side skirts do a little wiggle nothing at the booty so let's see with these side skirts well that ain't too bad and if we go a little further back keeping the legs straight not really much of a back kick there so let's see what the knees can do one double bend oh oh, oh, oh. yeah yeah you see that that's a high grade that's a high grade high grade doing knee joint work mm. Okay, set that aside. With the side skirts, your boy do a split. Well done. Good flex. And then feet, we have shimmy around. A little bit of work here at the ankle armor. And rest. Relax. Our man comes with some hands standard hands regular ball and socket I put that in the wrong hand but it rotates around just like that I'm gonna move you over I'm gonna put the correct hand in this hand and we're gonna have you out to the side also comes with beam spray gun with trigger finger so that as expected we'll simply plug right in there now before we get to the big boy i want to show off a, a, a good and bad feature it's good because this no other kit has this that i know of except for the pixie it also has beam daggers here on the shoulder piece you have a plug a tiny little cross guard and then you put this tiny little stabby dagger and you put this tiny little handle that has nowhere to store and it goes in his tiny little hand. Now our boy has a beam deck. You get two sets. Very nice. But also, okay, so you, that's already a problem. With holding the handle, the handle is still in his hand. Like, I didn't even do anything special. The handle is still in his hand. And look there it just fell out by itself that is an issue it's tiny parts that make for a really cool gimmick 
but a really easy way to lose parts. As I was trying to demonstrate, you can also do this. This, I feel, is a little more safe to handle your beam daggers. Keeps the hands free. And then you can keep these tiny boys off in a box, in a toolbox, in a container somewhere. Because those just don't affix very well. And there, there's nothing to do about that. There's nowhere to store them. They don't go anywhere. It's just... It assumes that you just kind of pull this piece out. There's the handle. Bloop. So you're going aside. Or rather... The beam is going aside. You're plugging back in. Because it's time. It's time to handle the main event. Of course, once again, I went all in on all the marking stickers, all the warnings, all around the edges. Just because I wanted to. I wanted to give it some love. You can see right here, it's got a couple of machine pods, uh, machine guns, whatever you want to call them, on the shield. I don't know like how active they are, but at least aesthetically it breaks it up and makes you think that just because you're cowering behind the shield doesn't mean you don't have any offense besides your one gun. Back here, it's got a flat handle, so I guess you could carry it flat ways like so. Or otherwise, if you want to carry it up here like a like big old hammer shield, you could plug in your, ha your, your hand there. But you also had this more flexible handle up here, all the way one side, all the way the other. Like a, like, like a switch. Like a, a proper switch. Like a, a power and energy switch. But of course that means that you have to... Slide the hand around in there and squeeze that piece in there. And then, if you have butter fingers and fumble hands like I do, you go to a bit of war trying to hold the hand out as you plug it in. Sometimes it plays along and sometimes it don't. But I will say that I guess torso aside maybe I've loosened up the torso so I'm playing with it he can carry that weight I mean he carries it all by himself it's a heavy shield it's not light but he holds it and then just as much you can rest that boy right there on the ground he can hide right behind it. Give him a little, a little crouch and kneel down. And you can't even touch him. He, he in there. We'll turn this to the side. That way we're not just staring at a wall. When we pass final judgment. Because Zeon says, fund that bad boy. I love me a robot with a big slab of shield. A tower shield. It's freaking amazing. It's kind of one of the reasons you want to, you'd want to get the GPO2. Because it's got the big slab of shield. Now, everyone has their preference in shield. Someone like a nice folded collapsible shield. Or maybe the round shield that you get kind of in IBO. I like a tower shield. Just as much as I like a small, simple beam shield that plugs right into the arm. This is fantastic. The stickers make it fantastic. Even though you've got kind of this, this annoying one right here. If there's any downside, it's, it, it's also an upside for having beam daggers. For doing something different. But I think that could have also maybe been executed differently. Like, sure, you have these pieces here. But then mold, mold these two pieces together so it's less likely to be lost. I, I understand that saves plastic doing this, but I would rather have that little bit of extra plastic sitting in the side than the handles that I could possibly lose. But I thank y'all for watching. Stay tuned for more reviews. And keep your eye on that selection screen. Just because it has 8 on there, doesn't mean it'll stay that way. 
sigs in yard.